We're asked to use Newton's method to approximate the zero of the equation 5x cubed plus 2x plus 2 equals zero as follows. Let x1 equal negative two be the initial approximation. Determine x2 and x3. Round all answers to four decimal places. Newton's method uses tangent lines to approximate zeros of a function. And the formula for Newton's method is x sub n plus one equals x sub n minus f of x sub n divided by f prime of x sub n. So first, because we're trying to find the zero of the equation 5x cubed plus 2x plus two equals zero, the function f of x is 5x cubed plus 2x plus two. If we were doing this by hand, we would also need the derivative function, which in this case, f prime of x is equal to 15x squared plus two. Now in this lesson, we are going to be using Desmos to complete the table below and make the approximations for x2 and x3. But before we do, let's write the formulas for x2 and x3. Notice for x2, n is equal to one, since one plus one is two, x2 is equal to x1 minus f of x1 divided by f prime of x1. In this case, we know x1 is negative two, and therefore this is equal to negative two minus f of negative two divided by f prime of negative two. Let's also write the formula for x3. For x3, notice n is equal to two, since two plus one is three. X three is equal to X two minus F of X two divided by F prime of X two. We don't know X two until we calculate this first approximation. So now we'll create a similar table to the one below using desmos.com where when N is equal to one, we know X one is given as negative two. So this first row is going to be F of negative two, F prime of negative two, and then finally the last entry is going to be x2, which again is equal to x1 minus f of x1 divided by f prime of x1. Let's go to desmos.com and create this table. First, let's make the calculation screen larger by moving the cursor to the right until we see the double arrow, click hold and drag to the right. Next, click into cell one and enter the function f of x equals five x to the power of three, right arrow plus two x plus two, we don't have to enter the derivative function in Desmos because Desmos will find derivative function values. Next, click in cell two, click the add item button and select table. And now we'll replicate the table on the previous slide. Delete X1 and enter N, tab, tab. Delete Y1 and enter X, tab. Next, F of X, tab. F prime of X, tab. And then we have the formula X minus f of x divided by f prime of x. And now let's go back to the end column and enter one, two, and three. And again, we know x one is equal to negative two, and therefore we enter negative two in the x column when n is one. And notice how the entire row automatically populates, where f of negative two is negative 42, f prime of negative two is 62, and negative two minus f of negative two divided by f prime of negative two to four decimal places is approximately negative 1.3226. This value is x2. Let's go back and record this in our table. And now going to the next row where n is equal to two, we know x2 is negative 1.3226. Let's also record x2 above. Again, we now know this is approximately negative 1.3 two, two, six. And now let's find x3 using the table in Desmos. So going back to Desmos, we simply go down to the row where n is equal to two and enter x2 to four decimal places, which again is negative 1.3226. And again, the entire row populates. Where f of negative 1.3226 is approximately negative 12.2131. F prime of negative 1.3226 is approximately negative 28.2391. And finally, the last entry is our approximation for X3, which is approximately negative 0.8901. Once this table is set up, we can keep going and going as long as we need to. Notice X3, 
would be approximately negative 0.8901. X4 would be approximately negative 0.6520 from the last entry, and so on. Let's go back and complete our table and finalize the answers for X2 and X3. Again, we now know X3 is approximately negative 0.8901. I hope you found this helpful.